All right, guys, first we're gonna start off with marinating the chicken. I know this is not how it's normally done, but this is the way, and the easiest way, and the best way to do it. So first we've got here turmeric powder. Now we've got coriander powder. And here we've got jeera powder, everything set. And here we've got green cardamom powder. This is uh, elaichi powder. It's basically the green cardamoms that are just crushed into powder. Then here we've got a cup of yogurt. Here we've got garam masala. Here we've got Kashmir chili powder. Okay, and here we've got red chili flakes. Then not forgetting, we've got ginger and garlic paste. We've got our rough salt and just some pepper. And that's all for our marinade. Okay, let's start off with half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now we're going to one teaspoon of dhania powder. Let's do a heaped teaspoon. Another heap teaspoon of jeera powder. Elaichi powder, we're just going to use a little bit. So we'll also just use just under half a teaspoon. And we're going to use one teaspoon of garam masala. We'll do it heaped as well. We've got two teaspoons of Kashmir chili powder. This is the mild one, so you can either have it mild or medium. And we'll do one teaspoon of red chili flakes, dried chili flakes. I'm not forgetting the salt, we'll add a teaspoon of salt. We'll taste it on the way, just in case. Add our and lastly, our yogurt. Just keep in mind, we're gonna add some cream towards the ending. So let's just get that yogurt in. And now we just go ahead and mix it with our hands. You can already see the color from the turmeric that's making it a bit yellow. So it doesn't have that red masala color, which is what we don't want. We want it nice and yellow. Once everything is mixed in, we can cover it and leave it to set in the fridge for at least two hours. Okay, so here we can just cover it with cling wrap. This is the part I hate because it keeps sticking together. Okay guys, while the chicken is busy marinating, we can move on to prepping. So I'm actually cooking from behind my kitchen. I think it's maybe because it's better lighting. And also because my sink is full of dishes. Too lazy to wash it now. But anyway, the second step, let's move on. We need some curry leaves, just a few pieces of cloves, whole cloves, two dried bay leaves, as well as some cinnamon sticks. And then we're gonna use some grated tomatoes, two grated tomatoes. It's better to grate them because if they are diced, you're gonna still have the peels in it and you want to the butter chicken to be nice and smooth and then we've got some diced onions this is just one big diced onion 200 grams of butter okay so let's move this out of the way okay so 200 grams of butter i'm just gonna estimate around there it's obviously this is 500 grams so let's just open it up first i actually set up the wrong camera here so it's a bit awkward I would say somewhere around there. Let's get that down. There we go. Now we can just bring in the gas plate. So I pretty much got used to using this enamel pot, which is pretty good. I like it. Now we can go ahead and add in the 200 grams of butter. Well, let's let that melt away slowly. So we don't want the butter to burn, so we'll just leave it on low heat because we just want to fry the onions as well in the butter. So while the butter is melting away, we can go ahead and add in the onions. So once the butter finished melting and it starts to 
kind of boil or fry a little bit. Just drop the heat a little bit more. Then we can just go ahead and add in the cloves, bay leaves, cinnamon sticks and curry leaves. Okay, here goes the curry leaves, the cloves, bay leaves and the cinnamon sticks. Okay, we'll just mix that in a little bit. Just remember it's on low heat. We don't want the butter to burn especially and yeah, just give that a 10 minutes or so. All right, so once we've got the onions cooking for about 10 minutes on low heat until it's a bit translucent, then we can go ahead and add in the grated tomatoes. Now we just mix that in. So we're going to leave this cooking for about 10 minutes before we go ahead and add in the chicken. It smells good so far, a little bit buttery, but that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm bringing it back, bringing it back to low heat and let's, let's close it and leave it on for 10 minutes. The best thing about this pot is that it maintains the heat even if the stove is off. For around 30 to 40 minutes, I think. Also, always just keep a dishcloth around for when you're using these enamel pots because they get extremely hot. All right, it's that time already to add the marinated chicken. You can smell all the spices. It is delicious. Smelling delicious. All right, let's go ahead and add in the chicken. Oh, that looks good. It looks good, by the way. We'll try and get all of this out. We'll just rinse it with a bit of water and try and get everything out. Now, once again, we're going to bring the heat back up. Okay, so yeah, I just put a little bit of water just to get all the spices out. And just throw that. And we're going to leave it to cook in the yogurt. Let's just bring the heat back to low because I feel it's sticking a little bit, although this is a non-stick pot. But yeah, we leave that to cook. Okay, so now we've come to the final leg of this cooking process, which was actually quite quick, not too bad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's go ahead and add in one cup of cooking cream. Now we just mix that in. We just try and mix it in gently so we don't basically break up all the chicken or anything. Now we can leave that to cook for another five minutes on medium heat and then we switch it off. Okay, so this is the part I've been waiting for. The smell has been killing me. Let's dunk in some gravy and rice. Mmm. On pop. Did I actually make this? I can't believe it. I can't believe I actually made this. Mmm. This is so delicious. And so creamy and smooth. Wow. Don't forget. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and I'll see you in the next one.